8 geography chapter 4 agriculture so in this chapter we have to know about uh, the science and the art behind the agriculture so at first the definition of agriculture you have to know this the science and art of cultivation of soil raising crops and rearing of the livestock and it also called as a farming the reason behind these two words the science and the art what it is is science because we have to know about the soil the, about the soil the climatic conditions the crop pattern and the fertilizer all are these in the science and on the other hand the art because of the growing of the crop like what the machineries we use for growing the crops and also we just use the allocated the number of people in the agricultural worker that's are the art so we, we just divided it is there are the three types of economic activities you remember it that number one it is primary activity number two is secondary activity and number three is the tertiary activity so coming to the first one that is the primary activity what is the primary activity primary activities include all those concerned with the uh, product product from the natural resource we just collect the resources from the nature that is included in the primary activities to, uh, to say like that that you need to resource that, that most of the resource are natural product remember it the natural product it is included in the primary activities some of the examples are the agriculture fishing as well as the hunting gathering those things also included in the primary activities now coming to the next one that is the secondary activity the secondary activity are wholly poop, uh, the, uh, dependent upon the primary activity the secondary activities are concerned with the processes of those resources manufacturing of steel the manufacturing of the clothes as well as the weaving of means the weaving of the clothes these are included in the uh, secondary activities now coming to the last one that is the tertiary activities the tertiary activities means the providing the services remember it the providing the services like the like us like teacher the doctor the engineer the, those people are give you the services that are included in the tertiary activity the, the i repeat again from the primary activity the primary activity is in the coming from the natural resource we just go to the field and we found the resources from the uh, the nature that are in thus are putting in the primary activities examples are agriculture fishing hunting gathering etc etc now secondary activity is dependent upon the primary activity the primary activity uh, the, the 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 source the the resources coming from the primary activities and then we processed in the secondary activity process in the factories process in the uh, 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 process the factories and then we can found uh, the manufacturing of steel manufacturing of uh, the iron iron ores to the steel and then we can found the, the clothing of clothes that are the factories the industrial materials are coming in the secondary activities then the last one that is a tertiary activity we found in the tertiary activity that's the services that's uh, the, the transport trade banking the, the, all the things like they are teaching the the medi medical facilities by the doctor nurses all are included in the tertiary activity so here you can found the agriculture is a primary activity and it included the growing of the crops fruits vegetables flowers and the rearing of the livestock in the world 50 percent of the part 50 percent of the people are engaged in the agricultural activity two-thirds of the indian population is still depend on the agriculture because india is an uh, agriculture country or the aggregation country favorable topography of the soil and the climate are the vital point for the agricultural activity the land on which the crops are growing is known as the arable land always remember this word is the arable land okay the land on which the crops are growing is known as the arable land you can see in this uh, world map the, the green la dotted line green line green pointed region are the arable land means here you can uh, uh, cultivate the crops and these are the some 
region of the world the world distribution of the arable land okay now coming to the next part that is the, the primary activity there are five types of culture so five types of culture number one is the agriculture you already know about the agriculture definition that is the science and the art of cultivation of soil raising crops and rearing livestock and it also called as farming number two is sericulture sericulture is in the the the, the commercial rearing of the silk womb and it also supplies the income of the farmer then the pc culture from the coming from the fish activities becoming the fish in the, the bringing the, the bringing of the fish especially from the uh, in the in the tank or in the pond that is that culture is called the fish uh, pc culture p i s c i c u l t u r e okay number 4 it is the viticulture it is the cultivation of grapes and number 5 it is the horticulture horticulture is the growing of the vegetables and flower and fruits that are in the horticulture so uh, we can found the five types of culture agriculture sericulture pc culture viticulture and horticulture now coming to the next topic that is the farm system so in the farm system always remember there are three processes one is input one is processes and number three is output as the input always remember the three things are very much important for the input the seeds the fertilizer the machinery and the labor these are the input and then we input these four things and we found the processes in the processes the input are processing and there is nothing but the pouling and sowing and irrigation and the weeding and harvesting these are the processing and then after that we just found the outputs the output is the crops the crops the wool the dairy that are the outputs you can see in this picture the inputs are machinery seeds and chemicals then it's processing by the pupils and then we can found the output is the crop same coming to the human inputs the human in there are two types of input one is the physical inputs and the human inputs the human inputs this is a the storage labor machinery chemicals they, that's are the human inputs and on the other hand physical inputs if we can found the sun sign from the nature rainfall temperature soil slopes that's are the physical inputs now we have to know about the types of farming the types of farming there are two, mainly two types of farming one is the subsistence farming and another one is the commercial farming the subsistence farming and the commercial farming okay so at first we have to know about the subsistence farming this type of farming is processed to meet the need of the farmer family only the farmer are processed uh, for the feeding of their households the feeding of their uh, children's and they uh, are the crop they are cropped their, their their cropping pattern are traditionally followed and low levels of technology are uses the, as well as the household's labor are included in this the small uh, the portion of the land or small portion of the field and they can produce a small portion of the output so these subsistence farming are always included for the farmer and their families they just uh, th then we have to know uh, the subsistence farming are also classified as two one one is the intensive subsistence and second one is the primitive subsistence so in intensive subsistence and primitive subsistence farming so what is the intensive subsistence farming or the agriculture here the farmer cultivates a small plot of land and using the small plot of more uh, and more more of the labor uh, climate uh, uh, with the large number of the of the days and as well as the sunshine as well as the uh, the cropping annual in the in the same plot they, they, they just cultivate all the things and mainly they just crop the rice and other things they also depended on the monsoon season because in the india monsoon are very much important for the 
cropping uh, of the uh, cropping of the because in india it is very much important for cropping by the monsoon uh, time by the monsoon water monsoon rainfalls south uh, in the south and the south east asia it is very much the shown the intensive subsistence agriculture now coming to the second one is the primitive subsistence agriculture primitive means the ancient okay so in the primitive subsistence agriculture we can found the again two parts one is the shifting cultivation and the nomadic herding what is the shifting cultivation shifting cultivation means it is uh, in the one place people are started their cultivation and then after completing the cultivation they burn that region and uh, they just go in the outside and on the another field the burning as are processed as a fertilizer but nowadays it is in the in the, in the modern technology this type of agriculture is totally banned because the ash didn't make the, the fertilizer very rapidly it also degrade the soils and make the soil pollutions so in the uh, part of some region the traditionally shifting cultivation has shown but we are making the modern cultivation which we have to know in the next part so uh, i am repeating again for the shifting cultivation the shifting cultivation is the process where you quickly uh, uh, in, in, in the in the part of the amazon basin of the tropical um, of the africa parts of the, um, the southeast asia and the northeast asia or uh, northeast, northeast india they uh, they are the uh, these 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 are the area of heavily rainfall and quickly recognize the vegetation the plot of the land are, are clear and then they, they, they just burn the trees they just cut the trees and they burn them then they make the, this burning or ashes are the fertilizer and they use the they 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 have like to uh, crops uh, in the uh, like the maize yam potatoes and the uh, several types of vegetations and after the soil are loses their quality the land is abandoned and they just leave that plot and go to the shift to the another plot so the city cultivation is known as this also known as the slash and burn agriculture now coming to the next one that is the nomadic herding nomadic herding means the people who are uh, rearing their uh, their livestock from one region to another region that is the nomadic herding including the nomadic herding you can see it's in the, uh, the region of the sahara in the region of the central asia also some part of the india and like the rajasthan jammu kashmir you can see this type of nomadic herding the in this in this type of farming the uh, In this, in this type of farming, you can see the people are moved from one region to another region with, with their uh, the animals and they, they, they because of their feeding and this type of uh, the movement areas are also uh, for the uh, climatic changes of the climatic conditions. You can see the changing of the climate make the people as well as the uh, animals very much problematic. So uh, in the mountain region. Uh, they uh, in the uh, summer time they move towards the upper upper portion of the mountain and in the uh, winter time the snow is coming in the, in the top of the hills top of the mountain so they just move in the downside of the uh, of the hill, hills and this also happening in the nomadic herding and they provide the milk meat wool uh, the, all the all the materials from the uh, livestock and they uh, sell in the nearest market and they make their profits now coming to the next part that is the commercial farming the previous all the things are in the subsistence agriculture you can see here the subsistence agriculture now we can found the commercial farming okay so commercial the word commercial means coming from the profit so, so the, it, uh, it is the we, we, we just make the better crops with the better machineries the better very very big area and we can found the very uh, the very much amount of the crops 
and we can sell in the market and make the profits in the commercial farming so most of the world are done by this most of the, the very very rich people are done this type of farming in our world so, so mainly they are grown the wheat and maize you can see in the uh, western part of our india in the punjab haryana the maximum part of the, the that states are uses this uh, commercial farming they they are grown the wheat and maize in their states and make the huge profits from that crops so uh, the temperate grasslands and the northern part of the america and europe and asia this type of cultivation this type of uh, the agriculture are processed so here we can found the mixed farming the word mixed farming the word mixed farming means the land are used for the growing of the food and fodder crops and rearing of the livestock the whole things are happen in the same field that is that same field is called as the mixed farming field and mixed farming the mixed farming also seen in the europe eastern asia uh, the argentina south Ar uh, australia uh, new zealand and the south Af africa now we have to know about the plantation agriculture what is the plantation agriculture plantation is the type of the commercial farming and uh, here the single uh, the crop of the tea coffee sugarcane uh, uh, crash queue also rubber banana and the cotton are grown the large amount of the labor and the capital are required in this uh, uh, plantation agriculture the uh, process uh, the, uh, the products may be processed on the farm uh, itself or in the nearby factories so you know that in the beside of uh, the coffee and the tea plant uh, the, there are the tea or coffee factories because the leaves are making dry so they have to uh, uh, process the tea very quickly or planting from the collecting the tree leaves then the uh, development of the transport network as well uh, as the issues for this type of farming so the major plantation uh, are found in the tropical region of the world the rubber in the malaysia the coffee in brazil tea in india and sri lanka are the most important plantation countries in our world so coming to the next topic that is the major crops so major crop uh, major food crops are the wheat rice maize and millets and jute and cotton are the fiber crops and important bravest crops are the tea and the coffee so at first we have to know about the rice rice is the major crop the food crop in the world and uh, in this uh, simple diet of the tropical tropical and subtropical regions mainly we can found the cultivation is happening in the tropical and subtropical region of our world so rice needs high temperature high humidity and high rainfall so in the in the growth of this it, uh, type of crops in the alluvial clayly soil which can retain the water and the china leads the production of rice in the first position then we can found the second india japan sri lanka and egypt so if the question will come that the what is the, uh, the who, who, which country is the, the leading production of the, uh, the rice you have to write the china okay in the favorable climatic conditions in the west bengal and bangladesh uh, two of the two or three crops are grown in a year then we coming to the next one that is the wheat so wheat uh, is the production are uh, moderate temperature and the rainfall during the growing of the season of uh, and the bright sunshine at the time of the harvest it need and you know that this type of uh, climatic conditions coming in the winter season so uh, in the winter season we can found the moderate temperature the, the rainfall moderate type of rainfall and the bright sunshine so uh, it it this type of uh, cross means the wheat are grown in the loamy soil 
ओके ये बड़ी लोमी सोयल एल ओ एम वाई लोमी सोयल व्हाट इज द द सॉरी 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 द व्हिट इज गोल इन द एक्सट्रीमली इन द यूएसए कनाडा अर्जेंटीना रशिया यूक्रेन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंडिया and in india it's grown in the winter season those i just tell you in the winter season this is the favorable condition for growing of the wheat because in the time the moderate temperature and the moderate rainfall are showing and as well as the, the bright sunshine we can found so next one it is the millet so in the millet there are three types of millet one is a jowar this is a jowar this is a bajra and this is a ragi okay so these are also uh, the cultivated in the western part of our india means the gujarat uh, the haryana that's region there is known as the, uh, the coarse grain and can grow in the less fertile and the sandy soils okay so you can see in the part of the gujarat in the part of the rajasthan in the, the sandy soil are found uh, so in that region also the millets are found, uh, can be cultivated in and we it we need the uh, moderate temperature and the adequate rainfall for this type of millets cultivation so other countries like nigeria china and niger also cultivates the millets come to the maize the maize required moderate temperature ra moderate rainfall and the loss of the sunshine so you can see again the same things happening like the wheat so it needs a well drained fertile soil and maize also grown in the north america brazil china russia canada india and mexico then the cotton cotton is required the high temperature light rainfall 2/3 uh to, sorry sorry uh, 210 frost free days and bright sunshine for the grown so i repeat again cotton requires high temperature high rainfall 2/3 210 frost free days for the bright and the bright sunshine for the grown if in the time of cotton cultivation the, uh, the snowfall is happening so all the cotton are died so we cannot found any cotton from that cultivation so we need the 210 force free days for the cultivation of the cotton and uh, it goes the the best it the best cultivation uh, uh, may be happening in the, uh, the alluvial soil and the black soil okay china uh, the usa india pakistan Bra brazil egypt are the leading production of the cotton and uh, it is one of the main raw materials for the cotton textile industry then the jute jute is also known as the golden fiber remember this term golden fiber jute is also known as the golden fiber so in the processing of the jute we need the high temperature heavy rainfall and humid climate in the past or uh, now nowadays also the west bengal and the bangladesh are the leading production of the jute okay uh, beside the ganga river uh, the the all the uh, all the jutes are processed and the fast jute factory is made in the west bengal that is uh, uh, rishra in the uh, beside of the ganga river so also in india bangladesh uh, uh, are the leading production for the jute and then coming to the coffee the coffee all coffee is a remember coffee and tea is a beverage crop as well as the plantation crop the coffee requires the warm and wet climate and the uh, the old uh, and the loamy soils for the cultivation and high hill slopes are more suitable for the growing of this type of crops brazil is the leading production of following followed by the colombia and then india the coffee after coffee we have the tea tea is a beverage cough a grown in the plantation the uh, we need the cool climate and the well uh, the distributed high the uh, rainfall throughout the year and uh, it's also grown mainly grown in the hilly regions in the darjeeling uh, in the in the assam you can see the uh, tea plantation 
the the regions and uh, we need the well drained loamy soils and the, the gentle slopes for the cultivation of the tea the labor um, the are needed very much too much labor are needed for this type of cultivation to collect the leaves of the tea and this is the labor intensive agriculture uh, kenya india china sri lanka uh, produce the best quality of the tea in the world then the agriculture the development we have to know about the, the development of the agriculture in the two parts one is the farming of the india and the farming of the usa the agriculture de the development uh, refers uh, uh, in the india that is the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the typical india sorry in the in the in the, in the part of india you can see the munalal uh, the just a name huh, uh, has a farm about the 1.5 hectares and he, he uh, purchases high yielding varieties of seeds from the market and for every year and on the other hand you can see in the usa the average size of the farming of the usa is like 250 hectares the people like us in india we cultivate in 1.5 hectares for only us and in usa you can see this is the too much bigger like the 250 hectares they cultivate in a just just a single person and he farms uh, they, they they farm like the commercial farming and we in india farm like the subsistence farming and uh, in the uh, in the farming of the usa you can see also the corn the soybean the wheat cotton and uh, the sugar beets are also produces so this is all about the whole chapter of the agriculture in the next class i will send you the uh, video of the next chapter this is chapter number 5 industries okay thank you